What is good, everybody? It is Spill here, and welcome back to another NBA 2K Lab video. As you can see by the title, we'll be going over the Blinders badge, and as always, go over which level you need to be the most effective. We're also gonna compare it against Deadeye to see which badge you should be prioritizing, and for this test alone, we took a 17,000 shot sample, and of course, all the badge info is free, but if you wanna support further, or you wanna check out the best jump shots we've tested with our automated system, you can always become a premium member at NBA2KLab.com where you'll have access to the make percentages and green windows of over 50 jump shots and you can even get 20% off using code YouTube. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and let's get right into the video. The description for blinders says that jump shots taken with the defender closing out in their peripheral vision will suffer a lower penalty. You can see down below the attribute thresholds for blinders and for Hall of Fame, it requires a 97 three point rating, which is a fairly heavy investment. So just keep that in mind when it comes to the value of each badge level. It's a tier three badge for all builds 610 and under and a tier two badge for everything 611 and taller. Now to test blinders, we took 200 jump shots for every five milliseconds throughout the green window for a contested shot. Our automated script has the ball handler take a dribble to the side to create the blinders contest angle and then shoots a contested shot in the 10 to 20 percent range we did this at every badge level and without the badge which came out to be 17,000 total shots which is actually one of our largest samples ever looking at the chart the center of the green window for blinders peaks around 46 and a half percent which is pretty similar to the center of the green window of our dead eye chart with dead eye peaking around 51 percent which we'll take a look at in just a second the blinders graph is going to look a little crazier than our dead eye graph because it was difficult to get consistent contests that were around the same contest percentage compared to dead eye where it's much easier to get those consistent contest percentages now with that being said that's why we took so many shots for this test on the screen you can see blinders on the left with dead eye on the right and it looks like blinders is just better at raising the entire green window in general especially on the edges while dead eye focuses more on improving the center of the green window you can see the hall of fame level of blinders sees a significant boost primarily on the earlier edges of the green window but because of the high attribute costs associated with hall of fame blinders we typically don't recommend players target it as you'll need a 97 three-point rating as i mentioned earlier now it's not completely off the table however but if you do target a 97 three-point on your new build you will be sacrificing something in return now if you're a primary ball handler who creates threes using dribble moves then you'll definitely want blinders on gold at least this badge works really well with fades and fades are still really good this year in general if you have 24 or more shooting badges and you're stuck between choosing dead eye or blinders we recommend blinders because one it's easier to activate and two it's far more practical if you're hunting for threes if you're looking for our blinders versus dead eye activation video to give you an idea of the contest needed to activate these badges i'll leave a link in the description below now dead eye still has its benefits and it might work well for pure catch and shoot players but don't forget about how expensive these badges cost now builds with low shooting badges can avoid blinders and dead eye entirely even on bronze but if you have 24 or more shooting badges or you play in a comp setting you should be targeting this badge on gold at least for the maximum return now that is all we got for the blinders badge video if this video helped you don't forget to leave a like and comment down below whether you guys are using blinders or dead eye it is spill and i will catch you guys in the next video later